tuba, for example, is nearly five and a half meters long, whereas an F tuba is about three and a half meters long. Tubas have anywhere from three to six valves. Pressing different valve combinations produces different notes. To build the valve section, they insert parts called knuckles into the valve cases. Spacers hold the valve cases the proper distance apart, while this alignment plate positions the cases in the correct configuration. Next, they insert connectors to later link the valve section to the rest of the instrument. After brazing the parts together, they run a cutter through the valve cases to hollow them out. Here, you can see what the case interiors look like before cutting and after. Now they begin soldering on the valve section's tubing, working from the valve cases outward. The tuba's frame section is made up of several U-shaped parts. Workers assemble them with connecting rings. They insert a support brace inside this frame piece. Then position tabs onto which they'll later mount the valve section. They clamp the tabs in place, then solder them on. Then they attach the bell section to the frame. Before adding the valve section, they give a preliminary buffing to what they've assembled so far. They brush some liquid polishing compound into the places that they couldn't access with the wheel and buff those areas with a rag. Then a final overall buffing until the brass reflects like a mirror. Meanwhile, the valve section assembly continues. First, they close off the bottom of each valve case with a screw-on cap. Then drop in a spring to provide resistance for the valve piston. Then the piston. A felt to cushion it. A top cap. Another cushioning felt. And finally, the finger button. A little oil ensures all the buttons move smoothly. The felts inside prevent the pistons from making a clanging sound as they move up and down. Now for the tuba's tuning slides. A coat of grease helps them move in and out to increase or decrease the overall length of the tubing. Shortening tunes the instrument higher. Lengthening tunes it lower. Now they screw the finished valve section to the assembled frame and bell sections and insert the main tuning slide. Finally, the tuba's mouth pipe. Made not of brass like the rest, but of nickel silver. They spray the entire instrument with cleaning solution to remove any grease residue and fingerprints. Prior to assembly, each section was cleaned and coated with a clear lacquer to ensure the tuba will always look as good as it sounds.